2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class First Drive, Review, Mini S-Class? But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. What exactly is the 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class? That's not an easy question to answer. Is it an S-Class with a very small wheelbase? Or maybe it's a hotter E-Class with a minor facelift? Could this even be a pumped-up A-Class sedan? One could argue that everything looks the same at Daimler these days, but yet, equally pleasing. We'd say the same for the new C-Class, W206, and that's a good thing, because the C-Class is still the most important Mercedes in the lineup, so it had better be pleasing. More than 2.5 million units of its predecessor, the W205, rolled off dealer lots globally since 2014. And Mercedes moved more than 10 million in total since the blissful 190. In other words, if you mess up the C-Class, you've got a big problem on your hands. To prevent this from happening, the company has not revolutionized but rather adapted and modernized where necessary. At around 187.0 inches long, 4.75 meters, the new model is 2.4 inches, 6.0 centimeters, longer than the old one, and the wheelbase has grown by nearly 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters. Mercedes promises noticeably more room in the interior. The trunk capacity sedan remains the same at 16.0 cubic feet, while the wagon, available in Europe from the start, now packs away between 17.3 and 53.3 cubic feet, one more than before. The C-Class rides on a modified version of the Mercedes MRA2 platform, modular rear architecture, which also underpins the new S-Class. Mercedes refers to a dynamically designed chassis with a new four-link front axle and a space-link rear axle. An adaptive suspension and a sport suspension are available at an option, as is rear axle steering with a 2.5-degree steering angle for the first time. The C-Class comes with LED headlights as standard. As an optional extra, though, there is the digital light from the new S-Class, with a resolution of 2.6 million pixels. It is also capable of projecting auxiliary markings or warning symbols onto the road. The big shock in terms of the powertrain is that there is only a four-cylinder. And yes, that also applies to the future AMG models. Chow six-cylinder, goodbye four-liter biturbo V8. Instead, there will probably be electrified versions of the A45 engine, and indeed in the C63 as well. At the model's launch, there will be three gasoline engines with 170, 204, and 258 horsepower respectively. The latter version will also offer all-wheel drive. The two diesel engines on offer in Europe produce 200 and 265 horsepower. All variants feature an integrated starter generator, new for the diesel, and a 48-volt electrical system as second-generation mild hybrids. There will be no manual transmission in the C-Class now or in the future. A 9-speed automatic is now standard across the board. The new C-Class takes the lead in the segment, at least in terms of electric range, when it comes to plug-in hybrids. They are to follow, soon after market launch, and will be able to drive around 62 miles in pure electric mode. A new 25.4 kWh monster battery makes that possible. The C-Class rides on a modified version of the Mercedes MRA2 platform, modular rear architecture, which also underpins the new S-Class. Mercedes refers to a dynamically designed chassis with a new four-link front axle and a space-link rear axle. An adaptive suspension and a sport suspension are available at an option, as is rear axle steering with a 2.5-degree steering angle for the first time.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.